Howdy, howdy. This is Claire Lawrence. Okay, so this is part two of the Artapalooza that was just this last Wednesday. And I did the acrylic pouring for the first time. Or at least I should say on live. On video. On camera. Yes. <laughs> I just got through with a uh, class with Mixed Media Girl where uh, we did acrylic pouring one day and resin the next day. And so this was like a few days after that. So stuff's still fresh. It's very new. But I like to try different types of mediums just because, um, if anything, it broadens me as an artist. And sometimes the techniques do apply to other mediums that I'm used to or familiar with or prefer. And in this case, acrylic pouring definitely does that. They use similar techniques. There's dirty pour. It could have possibly originated with acrylic. I don't know. But I definitely use it for resin. And same thing with the uh, flip cups. Excuse me. I just blinked. <laughs> um, so also with flip cups as well. And so I'm just trying some new stuff out. It definitely moves and behaves a little bit differently than resin does. Um, the colors work differently like uh, tree rings seem to hold their colors a lot better a lot more uh, defined whereas in resin they will they will have a tendency to blend and they don't give you those sharp crisp lines but the flip cups do seem to behave fairly similar so that's interesting and the chemicals um, the different types of pigments that are involved in both the uh, in both acrylic and in resin definitely fit, um, factor into how they react together and so that is fascinating on how those two are fairly similar um, I am just so that you know there's several of these colors that are kind of custom made they're a little mixture of everything uh, obviously white is straight up white but I'm using both artists loft colors as well as primary elements from color art so yeah <laughs> please don't ask me what the colors are <laughs> so I want to get that out in the open um, so one of mixed media girls favorite techniques is a tree ring so I had to do one of those and I mean right, right there I can't do that in resin at all I could try it might actually pour out well the first time but as soon as you start manipulating it and moving it around it starts blending and shifting and you get that dimensional shift like the top part or the the part that is touching the canvas will shift with resin and so it gives that illusion of blending okay I'm back <laughs> sorry about that I had to zip off real quick um, I am videotaping or I should say doing voiceover uh, around my family and life happens so yeah so this blue turned out interesting however it did dry a lot different than this and I gotta really tweak out with these formulas and how they work together and I don't know maybe my problem was that I was using primary elements and and their pore medium which is polypore in combination with artist flow colors and using the flow trial maybe the two just don't work together I don't know I, I gotta figure the, that kind of thing out um, and whether or not I am gonna go there and figure that thing out so I've got to do some a little bit of soul searching but in the meantime I've got a whole bunch of colors to play with and I'm gonna do just that so my dust free zone that I use for resin art actually works out really well for acrylic pouring so if any of you guys are interested in that uh, check out my descriptions I'll, I'll have links to that uh, baker's rack that I use that you see the tray there and I can put it into <laughs> my hand gestures were from the conversation we were having on the live um, anyway so yeah the uh, the baker's rack is is one of the tall ones and it has a uh, plastic cover with some zippers on the side so it's really great because you can throw your 
pieces in there that you're working, not literally throw them in, we'll put the trays in there, slide them up, and zip down the uh, cover, and boom, you got a dust-free zone in, in a short period of time. So the last piece that I'm working on here, I wanted to play with a couple of things. I'm like, I'm starting to do some experimenting, and I've got three colors that I'm working with. I believe it's white, yellow, and pink. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm layering them up like white, do a, a fluorescent color, which is probably the artist loft color, and then a pearly version of one of the primary elements that's similar in color. And then a little bit of white and going to the next pair of colors. And then white and next pair of colors. So I'm actually starting to create patterns here. And the end result was kind of interesting. I really like how it started off. And I might try and see if I can do that with resin as well. Because that really did turn out interesting as far as the color combination. And I think the division with the white helped one color to blend better with the other color next to it. And still have soft tones, but yet couple little hints of bright in there. You know me, I like my brights. But yet, this is also kind of soft. So the one thing I do like about flip cups is they have that tendency to give you almost that stony kind of multiple layer look to them. And that's really appealing and occasionally you'll get cells in there sometimes you get cell bananas in there and that's okay too all right so um yeah you guys gotta check out um tish's channel uh again it's the artist haven and she does artapalooza every wednesday and she has different shows set up on different days of the week and she's pretty regular on me on her on her channel where it's all kind of all over the place but she does that does a lot more lives I do a lot of upload recording kind of things because I'm out in the country my internet's not so great so in fact sometimes we just say it's cranky um, but I do try to record them every time I go on just because of the internet and we don't know if I'm gonna zap out of the lives too so, yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in, and I got details coming in after this. Later. All right, let me bring you in for a close up. I'm happy with this guy. Although the patterns with the white. Gives me kind of an oceany, like ocean floor look to me. I wonder if it got any of the sheen. I don't know. Maybe a little bit. Pretty cool. All right, let me bring you in for a close-up. Let's see, ready, zoom? Zoom. Kind of like this. It's like a neon marble. Very subtle but pretty. This area here in the corner, love that.
All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.